Yeah, I don't know. I thought I, I would uh, do a little, it's kind of a, I guess, diary episode. You know, I've done some of those diary episodes before, but uh, I'm not necessarily going to call it that because, I don't know, it's just a spontaneous desire to offer some self-reflections on where the channel is going at the moment and, uh, you know, the last few years and uh, sort of how the channel compares to other channels, uh, maybe I could call those the competition, but uh, for some reason I'm, I'm a little bit reticent to call these the competition, although in many in many ways that would be the true word because, you know, there's other uh, type channels, personality channels that are competing for the attention of viewers. Other INFJ channels are competing for the attention, to, attention of viewers, although I am slowly, uh, INFJs, INFJ minds evolve slowly, I think that tends to be a constant. Uh, slowly evolving toward embracing more types uh, and as you may have noticed the the type that I'm embracing most so far which is not INFJ is INTJ and in the sense that makes you know that that makes sense precisely because it is the type that has the most in common with the INT, INFJ I mean in slightly scholarly, scholarly language I would say that uh, it's the type that has this more similar phenomenology to the INFJ as internal life experiences the, the world in the most similar way to the INFJ because of the the possession, uh, so to speak, of NI uh, as a dominant function. Uh, being steeped in the NI world is something that is going to be very, very much a condition of a particular kind of life internally and externally uh, for, the, for, for these two cousin types. So there is a little bit of branching out that I'm doing and uh, even at this stage, I'm not sure how well that's going to do, but I'm hoping that it's going to do well. I mean, in theory, I should be starting to attract more INTJs and INFJs, continue to attract INFJs with more INTJs, because I think I can attract more of an INTJ audience. I think for a while I was, um, well, I mean, just for a while, you know, you get, you know, you get this, this famous little syndrome called imposter syndrome and this conviction I had that, uh, Speaking from the point of view of an INFJ and his experience, I was only ever going to be authoritative or at least convincing or interesting uh, as long as I spoke of the INFJ experience. Well, I think maybe gaining a little bit more self-confidence in that regard, uh, but also just noticing that uh, there's more and more INTJs that, that actually watch my channel and, and who seem to either resonate or at least find my content content interesting and thought-provoking. So I thought, okay, I'm onto something here. I'm not uh, headed completely off track. And uh, so, you know, continuing, and I probably will continue branching out. I probably would like more to do more videos on ISTPs, on INTPs, on INFPs, ENFPs. Um, probably to, to begin with, you know, uh, or the first instance types that I think have at least some, some sort of um, relevant relationship potential with INFJs because INFJs, as these books indicate, uh, remains my main area of invest investigation, but I need to branch out. I need to branch out not just for the sake of my channel, not for the sake just of my thinking, but also for the sake of my liking, to keep excited about the topic, even to continue thinking creatively about, about INFJs. I need to actually in the, uh, think about other types. And I can, in that way, as I progress by, you know, with my understanding of other types, to kind of also drive my way back towards an enlarged understanding of the INFJ, you know, what Gadamer calls the fusion of horizons, and uh, Gadamer being a philosopher, former uh, student of Heidegger, and uh, I really believe in that. So I think that this is probably what's going to be uh, more and more featured in videos. The INFJs will always be part of the picture, certainly, and, and, and that's uh, not, not going to change, and that's not, I don't want it to change. And there's still so much more to explore and investigate and research about this most fascinating types. But in interaction with other types, I think that's probably going to be more and more of a feature of my content uh, going into the future. Um, yeah, I mean, I, there's also moments when I think, OK, so my channel, it, it's interesting because like uh, I see that there's a lot of channels. Uh, well, obviously, the, there's the, there are channels that just blew up. If you compare yourself to the few channels that blew up, you're going to think, well, I'm not doing that well. But really, if you can, if I compare my channel to like uh, the totality of channels about personality, I'm not doing that badly. Uh, it, especially considering that you know I, this is mostly just a personal kind of interaction between you and me, with no fancy editing, hardly any edit editing at all, um, not that many fancy thumbnails. Uh, you know, uh, 
it's kind of, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's kind of, we're having a conversation and people seem to be enjoying that. And what I like as well is that uh, I, I've started to make more content, uh, do it something on a more regular basis. And it seems that like people like the idea of me being their daily, their daily uh, conversationalist. Uh, it seems to be something that people are responding to positively. And I really like that because I, I've wanted to do this for a while. And I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe that's too much. Maybe people don't want to hear about me or they want to hear from me that often. Turns out it's working pretty well. And who knows where this is going to go in the future. Uh, of course, could always be doing better. I mean, a dream of mine, a dream of mine would be to be able to attain, uh, attain financial independence through my channel and my books and my content. Now, this is really far into the future. In fact, the reality right now is more of financial uncertainty, which is why I depend also, my channel depends, my work depends on, uh, on donations, mostly Patreon donations with my very generous Patreon supporters whom I salute and uh, some one-off donations through my paypal.me uh, link that there's a couple, a couple people who started making donations and i'm very grateful to them as well so so far it's just i depend on donations uh i depend on book sales and book sales you know uh, they are not always super predictable from month to month i mean there's a window uh of uh, how well like my book sales can perform you know how well my books can perform and the sales can do so there are, there are months that are pretty good. There are months that are a little, you know, that are rarely bad, but you know, they're a bit more, more modest. Um, so if I could eventually manage to develop something a bit more sustainable, that'd be great. Uh, perhaps move toward more editing, but not in an aggressive manner and, and get some new ideas, maybe start a website. And as I mentioned in the video recently, maybe in, uh, consider doing some, providing some typing services, starting from an INFJ perspective and INFJ coaching, I think that would be good. Uh, and my wife, um, my wife, who's going to move in with me finally in a permanent fashion in a few weeks time, she's going to bring in some ideas and, and skills as well, I think. So I'm excited about the future. It's a little bit uncertain as well, uh, but I'm certainly my intention. I'm, I'm not in control of everything, as I indicated earlier, um, and I don't have the financial independence I would like to have. But um, if things go well, if they go as I would like them to go, I'm, I'm intending to continue, to really continue producing lots of content and to continue being that conversationalist with you guys, maybe bring you a certain level of like uh, sort of warm enjoyment every day. If I can be that person, that's great too. Continue producing more books on the INFJ, on INI dominance, on type. Uh, you can get those two books, by the way, as you know, The Ecstatic Soul and The Infinite Soul. I always talk about them in my channel. So no need to return, you know, that you, this book, if you can get more reviews for this book, that's always very helpful. So my two books on the INFJ that you can get, uh, I intend to write more books, uh, lots of things, lots of ideas, but at the moment, it's kind of a period of transition where uh, I'm still trying to calibrate um, the new elements that I'm potentially considering adding and trying to fit everything within, within my schedule. So uh, I think the future looks good. It's a bit stressful at times. It, it isn't a bit blurry in other ways, but altogether the intention to continue being very active is definitely there. So, uh, well, if you're still there watching this video, uh, again, thank you so much for being a supporter of mine. And I hope you continue to be that in the future in whatever capacity. Okay, so talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.